is this At his word a lame man walks And a silent man can talk And the broken are restored Who is this? He can walk on raging seas And command a storm to cease At his voice the demons flee This is Jesus This is our Hello, welcome back to day four of the Humanity of Jesus series. Today, like yesterday, I'm going to start with some scripture, but a little bit more than usual. First of all, we're having Matthew 4, verses 1 to 11, and then Hebrews 2, 18. Verse 18 is the follow-up to the Hebrews 2, 16 and 17 that's been our anchor passage for this week. Jesus was tempted in the wilderness. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you're the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you're the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all of the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All of this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and the angels attended him. And Hebrews 2.18 Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Part of Jesus' humanity is him going through human trials and experiences. And 40 was a number used in the Hebrew culture to mean a period of growth, trial and change. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights with Noah and the great flood. And Moses and the Israelites wandered through the desert for 40 years. So we can see how that applies to Jesus in the wilderness. A period of trial and temptation. In the midst of this time of trial, Jesus grew hungry. He had a bit less context to find that. It says so in verse 2. And then along comes Satan, the tempter, to, as the name suggests, tempt Jesus to sin, to try and get him to break. We can all imagine that situation. We've been there before. It might not be a physical hunger, that we feel, but it might be a hunger that just makes us a little bit weaker, just that little bit more likely to sin, just that little bit more worn out. He's hungry, and then a voice comes along, says in his ear, go on, do it, prove you're the son of God. The tempter picks exactly what Jesus is hungry for and tries to tempt him with it. He does it again with the temple and then finishes off with the whole beauty of the world. All of them trying to get Jesus to abuse his power and to sin. Yet, Jesus prevails. This 
gives us two things. Number one, it gives us hope that we can beat temptation. If Jesus is able to beat temptation, so are we. We have his spirit living inside of us. And number two, you're going to see a theme here. It gives us the model of how to deal with temptation. And that is scripture. By reflecting on the words of God, by seeing the promises and commands that he gives us, we can effectively counter our temptations. By remembering how we are fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm 139, we are blessed, uh, number six and the Beatitudes. We are conquerors, Romans 8. Along with other passages in the Bible, we soon realise we have the power in us by the grace of God to beat temptation. I'll say it again, we can beat temptation. Because Jesus himself suffered, he is able to help those who suffer. He's able to draw alongside and relate to us. Again, I'll sound like a broken record, but because of the model of how to deal with the problem and because he relates to us, we can beat temptation. He's done it for us. He shows us exactly what to do. Because he's just that good. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for giving us the gift of your son, Jesus. For giving us the gift of his models. Thank you for showing us a way through the darkness and through the temptation. Father, I pray for each person listening, for each person in your wider church community and for each person who you call a son and a daughter. Father God, I pray that we together can beat temptation through your power, in your name and for your glory. Whatever trials we face, Lord, be with us. Give us the strength and the courage to get through. And if we fail, thank you for your forgiveness, that you give us another chance. And Father God, don't let us waste those chances. Let us use the chances to keep trying, to keep pushing, to keep fighting the good fight. In your holy name I pray, and we pray together. Amen. Who is this? At his word a lame man walks, and a silent man can talk, and the broken are restored. Who is this? He can walk on raging seas And command a storm to cease At his voice the demons flee This is Jesus This is our God Working wonders and miracles